On the left, that's our original photograph. On the right, that's the final edit. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to edit portrait photo in Silky Pix Developer Studio Pro. It's going to be pretty easy, nice and quick. I'm going to specifically show you how the tool works and you can do your own version using the exact same tool. First of all, uh, this is a community program. So I'm trying to help all those folks who are using Silky Pix Developer Studio Pro, of course and all the photo photographers in general so it takes a lot of time and effort so i'm playing my part so if you could just share like and subscribe that would be very very useful for my future programs now moving on let's jump into the portrait editing in silky Beats developer history pro first of all i've got a couple of photos ready like first and the second and the idea is in this editing to show you how to edit uh, subjects with different skin tone obviously we're not going to have same skin and different skin tone takes different type of effort I'm going to show you my way how I edit my own portrait photos right so first of all we're gonna start with this one starting with that I'm usually I start with my lens correction in this case this is converted in DNG so I don't need to play with it too much that's fine now second thing you can do look at the flower that she's holding so we could actually boost the color a little bit right that's the step number one and also white balance the white balance looks really really good but i'm going to show you a special tool that i use in white balance tool so we got two white balance card one is the gray balance tool which is the traditional one um, that if you have a gray card or white balance card inside the photograph you can use that tool the second one is the skin color tool so we're gonna give it a go so i'm going to click it and drop it on her skin and see what happens so it made the photograph really nice vibrant and warm if that's what you're looking for this is perfect but you can try in the different part of the body. For example, I can use the same tool now and drop it on her darkest part of the cheek. So you can see that the color changed now. It became less warm and more into the green side, right? They're all good. As long as objective here is to make sure the skin looks perfect. So for me, it works. So that's our step number one. Step number two would be going to the profile and change the color repre representation to color one or color two. So I'm gonna start with color two because it's influencing the red skin tone, which, which I love. So I'm going to stick with that. And then I'm going to add a touch, only a very little touch of saturation. So that's done. So our color part is done there mostly. Now, what I'm going to do as well I'm going to go to the partial correction tool, select my polygon and select the flower so that I'm going to affect just the flower, make sure that it's nice and pink so that, you know, it's a nice flower. So I like to separate the flower from herself so that it have a nice, beautiful contrast. Now that's done. And I'm going to double click to get out of there. Make sure that my feather is Kind of concentrated so i don't want to get out of this flower zone now i'm going to go to the color and then change the range all the way to about 100 150 let's say now reduce the lightness all the way down select the color range like that and boost the saturation and then i'm going to play with the hue a little bit let's see what it does if it's giving me a nice contrast but it's not. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, ah, that looks beautiful. That's exactly what I want. So it has like a nice pink tone. It's separating the flower from her skin. So I have a really nice and good separation. That's exactly what I want. So I'm going to fine tune just a touch. That looks perfect. So I'm going to get out of there. I think the job here is done for the flower. And the second step would be fine color controller and then put my cursor on the leaves see where the zone is so it's right there and what i'm going to do i'm going to boost the saturation of the green lightness and see what it does me i would like to make the leaf a little bit more warm so as you can clearly see i'm going to show you the dramatic change we have done already which is so i'm going to show you that's before check this out amazing isn't it i mean the photograph is already well well very well exposed which is very important just remember 
you got to take a nice photograph at the very beginning when you're pressing the shutter button. Then your life will be so much easier when you're actually going to edit the photograph. It's so much less work. You will thank yourself. Your future yourself will thank you. And so that was the original photo. And that's after. It's already quite nice, warm, bright and vibrant. That's exactly what we are looking for. But our job is not done yet. Because we gonna we have to look at the professional level. Like this photo is made for magazine. So that's the level that we are looking for. So I'm gonna turn off majority of my tools to may have some more extra room. And then I'm going to turn on the Silky Peaks own portrait beautification. So what portrait beautification does, simply explaining this is exactly same as frequency separation in Photoshop and Affinity Photo. So it smooths out the skin while protecting all the details. So I'm gonna zoom in quite a bit, right? I'm gonna, I should zoom it just a little bit to see enough of your skin. Maybe right there is fine. Now, just be careful. Do not overuse portrait vitrification because it might ruin the skin and the hair. So I'm gonna make it half and half so I can see both of her eyes close this workspace. I can see the hair, her finger, and majority of her face. Maybe push it up a little bit. And now you have three different ranges, small, medium, large. Basically small is like a fine grain kind of smoothing out where the large one is quite strong. That's fine. Every subjects are different. So in this case, the skin is already phenomenal, but you know, we are human. We are not perfect. We're not supposed to be perfect. But if you are doing some kind of commercial work, you know, they, you tend to over perfect many things. I mean, that's how the business works. So what are you going to do? We're going to pay attention to under her eyes and on her nose see that we can smooth out a little bit more. So let's see, I'm gonna add about 10, starting with 10, that's my base, small effect to 17, see how far we are going. And I'm going to stop just before. And I'm going to let it render a little bit, see how it's working. So, so far, so good. It looks nice, it looks beautiful, it looks smooth. I like it. So I'm going to go to medium just to see the change. Like what can I get if I use medium, right? And we are not really far from the small one. So I'm going to try the large as well and see what kind of effects happening. Large is, as I said, it made quite dramatic change. So I'm going to stay with small because, you know, it's supposed to make the photo look dreamy, obviously, but you should stay within the original range. So, so far looks phenomenal. I'm happy with it. Now I'm going to go to the tone and reduce the clarity quite a bit. About minus 14 looks good. So I'm going to turn this on off. So I'm going to go to the L in my curve and add just a touch brightness in my mid-tone. I'm gonna zoom out, pull off my mid-tone of L curve, just a touch, just really a touch. Make the photo quite small. And I would like you to see what's the difference with before and after. So I'm going to make it side by side like that compare the photos before and after. Check this one out. So on the left, that's our original photograph. On the right, that's the final edit. I still haven't used uh, main sharpness, noise reduction. So I'm gonna finish with that. So I'm gonna turn this on off and open my pull, pull line, add the mosaic sharpening recommended by Silky Peaks Developer Studio as 83. So I'm gonna trust Silky Peaks in that case. And then use just a traditional sharpness as Silky Peaks recommended. Like color distortion 20 and smoothness or luminance level 14 and sharpening I'm going to stick with default natural sharp and let the computer render a little bit like we wait about five four three two one and then I'm going to open it side by side and now pay attention to left and right before and after. So I'm gonna shut down many of my panels that I don't need anymore and then put it on the left like that. And please have a look at before and after. So that's before on the left and on our right, we have the final result. How beautiful the photograph is. I'm really happy with the result. And I'm going to zoom in quite a bit. I'm going to shut down the panel and zoom in and pay attention to the skin. Check this one out. It's nice, the eyes look sharp really nice and sharp i'm really extremely happy about it while the eyes are sharp the skin looks nice and smooth it doesn't look too perfect it doesn't look too sharp it's beautiful the subject is beautiful already and silky pigs 
brought us so many things back in life, which is already amazing. So that's the tutorial for that kind of skin tones. As I said, we have to work with, if you're a professional photographer, you have to learn how to work with basically all types of different skin tone. And so previous one was more like a darker skin tone and this one is more bright skin tone. So we're gonna work on that one, just very nice and quick. It's gonna take about, let's say five minutes, starting from now. So I'm gonna do a nice and quick, for example, changing the color representation. Let's say you're gonna start with portrait three, because portrait three gives a really nice pink tone. So an L curve, I'm going to boost the mid tone quite a bit. But while I'm doing that, I'm going to reduce the highlight. For instance, like that, it just a touch. Looks so far so good. Third thing we're going to do, we're going to add a touch saturation. I'm going to zoom in to our eyes. It's beautiful already, so I'm going to add some more vibe in it. So I'm going to bring my parcel saturation, bring my brush, make sure the brush is nice and small, matches her size of our eyes, just about there. Zoom in just a touch, make it more small, add some feather, I can make it even smaller, and then just a touch like that, add one more to her left, left eye like that, add lightness about 25, saturation just a touch and let's see the result as you can clearly see the eye looks nice i'm going to add some contrast on her in her eye maybe reduce the lightness just a little bit i don't want it too much and too aggressive that looks so far so good i'm going to make it smaller as you can clearly see it looks powerful really really powerful amazing i love it now what i'm going to do because in the previous the original photograph the background was darker Test. let's take a look that's what i like i don't want the background coming forward I want her to be as exactly the original photo. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to my curve again and add some black. Check this one out. Did you see that? It's amazing. So the background uh, started to disappear, but not too much. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a little bit more. Looks so far so good. That's exactly what we want. Now, another thing we can do, we can go to the fine color controller and there is a preset called saturated skin. Check this one out. So it boosts the skin tone quite a bit, but I'm going to modify the preset. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go there and then reduce the saturation because it's too aggressive, I think. And I'm going to go to the other skin tone and then change the color, add some brightness, add some saturation, vice versa, you got the idea. In portrait beautification, I'm going to go to medium and then add, I'm guessing that I'm taking more than five minutes, right? Because I have to explain. Normally I just do quick click, Bam, bam, boom, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then done. So it's my responsibility to explain you, so excuse me. <laughs> I should be more realistic and say 10 minutes or 15. So I'm going to add about 11 effect, let's say 12. I'm going to zoom in quite a bit just to do a quick verification. Looks so far so good, amazing. I'm going to turn this one off, open the spotting tool, see if there is any kind of certain things that we can change. I mean, again, as I said in the previous photo, we are human, we are not meant to be perfect, but because it's a commercial, I'm showing you something that you could use for promo commercial purpose. You have to pay attention to certain details. So in this case, I have something here, like a little tiny mark, which is, doesn't bother me, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to show you how this works. Normally in France, uh, like where I live, we have a law where if you do such change, it's certain modification, it has to be written in contract. I don't know how it works in UK or United States or any other country where you're from, but in France, we have a law, which is amazing. I respect that. And I actually like this because everybody should have their right to tell whether or not they're, they're happy with modification, right? Now, so I'm going to do, I'm going to select this round circle, which is the auto erase and do a quick click looks work it works fine you can add medium pen or thin pen which is like a more finer in this case this one works i'm going to zoom out and what i'm going to do again i'm going to just want to show you side by side guys but before i do that final thing i would like to do i'm going to work with the white balance see if it's working for me or not so I'm going to add the skin color tone, drop on her skin, see if there's any change. Looks like it's already working well. I'm happy with it. So 
I'm going to keep it. What I can do, I can add a little bit more warm. That's exactly what I prefer. Looks nice and vibrant. Now we're going to look at the side by side. I'm, I'm excited. On our left hand side, you have the original photograph. On our right hand side, that's our final. And I would like you to see even better what I can do. I can reset the first photo. So now you have the actual photograph. What I can do, I can zoom in quite a bit so that you can see what's happening. So check this one out. That's our original photograph. And on our right hand side, that's our final product. This is a commercial quality edit. I've done very quickly in Silky Pix Developer Studio Pro. I would like to see the next photograph so that you can see the original photo side by side with the new one. So check this one out. That's our original. On the left hand side, that's our original. On the right hand side, that's our final product. See the improvement. This is phenomenal. I'm going to zoom out quite a bit. I don't know if you can feel my excitement, but I'm really, really satisfied and happy with my result. So I'm, I hope that you are happy with the result too. If so, please like and subscribe and share with the community out there with the DP review or Reddit, wherever there are Silky Peaks developer user looking for this kind of tutorial that will help me a lot to continue this project. I wish you a very wonderful day. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.